Whilst this day signifies the signing of the founding document between Māori and Pākehā, we also know that this has become a national day where all cultures that make up New Zealand can reflect on the day and participate. So what does the Muslim community think about Waitangi Day and do they participate? Joining us in the studio are Ali and Petra. Tēnā kōroa. Yeah, so what yeah. does Te Tiriti and Waitangi Day mean to you? in the Muslim community. So um, before we start, kia ora tato, Aotearoa. <clears throat> I'd like to thank um, New Zealand and Aotearoa for their aroha that they show towards the Muslim community on the 15th of March and post that. And, we, you know, we'd like to thank uh, Naitahu and the rest of the iwis that supported the Muslim community and everybody who reached out and put their hand forward and uh, if asked us if we needed any help or assistance. So thank you so much for that. That's yeah. right, and, and such a hard time coming up on the 15th. And mm. I suppose you saw that aroha, you saw that love. Um, and what does it mean to, to the Muslim community abroad? So in terms of like relating back to your question around the uh, Treaty of Waitangi, I think uh, when we talk about the treaty or think about the treaty, it's a start of justice. It's the beginning of the healing for New Zealand. Mm. It's, and and the, the, at the end of it, at the end of justice or what we would like to see as a nation is that everybody paddling on the same waka yeah. you know yeah. so that's what the treaty of waitangi i believe signifies that the ability to practice and uh, and live amongst one another as people mm. you know so and i guess that document began this journey and that's why we are here today that's right yeah, yeah. and so um uh, how important is the maori culture in your community your m muslim community Actually, it's very important because we view Māoris as the people of the land, the guardians of the land long before we even got here. Um, so it is something that we need to be very aware of and educated about. And growing up in New Zealand, it actually makes me really upset that I never learnt the language and I'm quite limited in that, even though I grew up here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Because yeah. how long have you been living in Aotearoa? 25 years for myself. Roughly yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you went to school here. Yes. And what you didn't learn much of the history. Yeah. Not enough. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, I went to Takanini Primary School, and that was quite um, uh, strong in uh, Te Ao Maori, right? But then what happened was my parents decided to take me to more, uh, let's just say, Pakeha schools, <laughs> 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 and it kind of got disconnected there, yeah, and then yeah. reconnected again in, in university when um, there was an emphasis on. Uh, teaching the Treaty of Waitangi as a core, mm. um, uh, as part of all the courses, I think, at university. Um, and yeah, so, uh, like, talking about uh, Te Ao Māori, there's a lot of similarities between um, Islam and Te Ao Māori, and there's a lot of similarities between the Arab culture and the Māori culture. We do the hongi and the hangi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. And we, when we talk about aroha, yeah. The word aroha in, in, in Māori is talking about the spiritual love, the ruh. right? Ruh. In Arabic, we have this term called ruh, mm -hmm. And we believe that God um, put this spirit in, in Adam, peace be upon him. Yes. Yes. And, and when we talk about aroha, the love, it's yes. very deep. It's very spiritual. It's not a one-dimensional, when you say, I love you, that's yeah, it. Yeah. It ends there. <laughs> this is more than that, you know? And it's... It's that spreading the love between one another. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why we refer to each other as brother and sister in Islam. It's like brother Ali. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Talking about family. Family, yes. yeah. And as we, even when you came in and we greeted, mm -hmm. you, we could... Yes. Like we could, we could, we could hug, hug we and could, touch. Yeah. But you and I, so man to a woman, no. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a form of respect. Form of, yeah. Yes. Kind of why I also wear the headscarf. Okay. A form of respect yeah. as well. Yeah, our, our wahine are very sacred to mm -hmm. to to us, you yeah. know, and we want to protect them. And they can protect themselves. Yeah, don't I, get me wrong. <laughs> 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 but you know, it's a it's a it's a responsibility. It's yeah. a, you know, it's a, it's that mutual respect. Mm -hmm. aspect. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, Ngamahi Korua, thank you for coming in today and sharing your insights and and all our blessings and aroha on the fifteenth of February. Um, yeah, we will we will be in silence, but Ngamahi.